have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream. What's going on, Stretch Team family? Look, a Stretch Team member came to me and was like, "Hey, real, listen, I want a high volume, just some of the crazy shoulder workouts like you used to do back in the days, like just some extreme high volume." And I was like, "Do you know who I am? That's my specialty." So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and give out a warning. If you're newer to training, listen, don't do this workout because you're not going to be able to use your arms probably for like a week. You're not going to be able to put a shirt on. You're not going to be able to feed yourself. Like this workout is extreme high volume, but the pump you're going to get off of this is ridiculous. So if you're still here and you're interested in this workout, you are gang certified. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Our first exercise, we're going to do the incline barbell shoulder press. Now the reason why I say incline, I don't want you to put the seat straight up. I want you to put it straight up and then I want you just to click it back one notch. That way it's going to be so much more friendlier on your shoulders and also you're going to be able to incorporate a little bit of your upper portion of your chest. We're going to do four sets for six to 15 reps. What I mean by that is your first set, I want you to do 15 reps. Then I want you to increase the weight. Then your second set, I want you to do maybe like 10 to 12. Then your third I want you to do like eight to ten and then your fourth is going to be your heaviest and I want you to be able to get five to six reps but listen we're going to make this way more challenging than that shrimp team we want a stupid dumb pump so what we're going to do is we're going to do a double drop set so when you're on your heaviest set it's which is going to be your fourth set I want you to go ahead and get those five to six reps now I want you to go ahead and strip it and take a plate off now come right back and go to failure guys I mean I want you to rep out until you cannot rep even get some partial reps in like you're seeing in the video and then once you cannot move your arms go ahead and rack the weight now strip some more of the weight off and now go back in and do another set and tool failure one exercise in and your shoulders are going to be massively pumped now to finish with that we're going to do one more pressing just one more i know you're like man ain't no more pressing my shoulders are done but listen it's okay just trust me we got the neutral grip dumbbell shoulder press we're going to do three sets and our reps going to go 15 12 and 10 but you know like i say i want this to be one of the craziest shoulder workouts that you have done probably in your entire life so that third set on your 10 reps it's going to be a drop set so choose a weight that you can get 10 reps and after you get your 10 reps go ahead and drop that weight maybe lighten the weight up maybe 10 15 pounds and then go right back in our strength team and get 10 11 12 13 14 15 more reps go until you cannot do one full rep now after finish with that, we got the cable rope front raises. This exercise right here is ridiculous. Your front delts are probably going to be more pumped than they have ever been in their entire life because it's a lot of anterior work. We got three sets for 12 to 15 reps. And the trick, I always lean forward. I know a lot of people don't like this exercise because the, the cables will come and hit you right between your legs and you don't like that because it's getting all into your privacy and, and all into your personal space. So what you do is, to where you can get rid of that, lean forward like you see in the video. That's not going to make you cheat. You're not going to lose no range of motion it's actually going to help you and you're going to keep that tension on your front deltoid a lot more in my opinion i know a lot of people already like it but listen if you've never tried this definitely try it out now after we finish with that we're going to do one more exercise that i just made up and i think you should try it out it's the seated cable single arm front raise we're only going to do two sets but we're going to do higher repetitions just to kill out our front delt we got 12 to 15 reps go ahead and set your bench beside the cables and all you're going to do strength team is just take the cables and just lift it up in a regular front raise but i'm telling you you keep constant tension the entire range of motion the only tip that i would give you do not hyper extend and go too far back because it's going to put your front deltoid in a, a vulnerable position so what i was doing is i usually just come all the way back to my hands right beside my hip and then i repeat that that way i keep constant tension but i don't put my front delt at risk now to finish with that we're gonna go ahead and blow out our side delts we got the dumbbell side raises and we're gonna do six sets and we'll stay between 12 to 15 reps now the trick with this is i don't even want you to increase the weight your shoulders are already going to be stupid pumped and you're going to be already somewhat exhausted so there's no need for you to increase the weight from here on out so what we're going to do is we're going to pick a weight that is challenging for us to get 15 reps that is going to be our weight that we're going to stick with every set now as you're seeing the video i want you to go ahead and perform 12 to 15 reps after you finish with that i want you to rest for 30 seconds strength team this is what's going to make this workout ridiculous 30 seconds of rest between every single set so you're going to perform 12 to 15 reps set your clock whatever you need to do count in your head count 30 seconds and go right back to your second set repeat this for all six sets now to finish with that we have the cable face pulls we're gonna do three sets and we're gonna stay between 12 to 15 reps and like i always tell you when you perform this exercise the best way for me to tell you to do it 
Just think about bringing your thumbs all the way back right beside your ears. Hold it for a half second and repeat that. That's all you need to think about. You don't have to think about anything else because it's going to complicate it. Now last exercise, we're going to finish it out just with a little bit of trap work. We're going to do the barbell shrugs and we're going to do three sets for 35 reps. Now I don't expect you to be able to do 35 reps consecutively. So you're probably going to get tired at maybe like 20. So once you get tired, just let that weight hang. Go ahead and put some straps on. That hang and that stretch is going to make them traps respond. Your traps are going to be super, super sore just because because of the stretch it's not even about the contraction it's all about that stretch so like i say if you rest at maybe 20 maybe 25 hold it for like five seconds and then go right back in our strength team and finish your set this workout right here was gate certified and i cannot wait for any y'all that's brave enough to try and let me know how it goes because i guarantee you're gonna hate me but you're gonna love me because it's gonna be so many gains you're gonna get. But like I tell you in every single video, Strength Team, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. But at the end of the day, make sure you keep getting them games. Oh.